We are looking at a picture of Edmund and Elizabeth Aris. They are in their backyard at 1653 Bryden Road. They lived there from about 1914 until about 1920. We received this collection as a donation. Uh, someone found it in a barn in Grove City. Uh, the barn had flooded and several of the images had either stuck together or been damaged. And so we took it upon ourselves to try and preserve as much as we could from the collection. Edmund Aris was born in Dayton in 1875. We think around in his teens, his family moved to Columbus and he attended Central High School. Um, he went on to go to the Ohio State University to study law. In 1891, to help pay for school, he started his own rental agency. And um, when he finally graduated in 1896, he only practiced law for four years because his rental agency took off. In 1897, he married Elizabeth Filey McDermott. So he and Elizabeth were involved in many civic and church organizations, one of them being the Sunday School Association, which took them to Europe in 1913 for the World Sunday School Organization meeting. Um, it was in Zurich, Switzerland, but they also took a few months out of their busy lives to travel Europe. He would take photos of the maps that, of where he was traveling and then mark all of the spots in the route that they took to get there. What's so important about that is he took many photos of the cities before World War I. So we have images of things that no longer exist because of the war. So then Edmund was elected president of Kiwanis International in 1923. That took he and Elizabeth across the country. They visited every state that was a state then except for Alaska and all of the provinces in Canada. The great thing about that was he took his camera with him and also recorded that trip. So we have several images of um, Yellowstone National Park, the Grand Canyon. So he not only took pictures of outside, but he took pictures of things where they stayed. So this is the lounge in Yellowstone National Park at that time. And Edmund passed away in 1951. He left Elizabeth a rental agency, which she ran until her death in 1969. The Aris co collection that we have consists of over 4,000 lantern slides, negatives, and photographs. You can find it on My History. He has his very own collection there. If you enjoy Ohio Snapshots in Time, please like, share, and subscribe. Ohio Snapshots in Time is produced by WOSU Public Media in partnership with the staff of the Columbus Metropolitan Library.